Hey there, YouTube. Uh, this is uh, Stephen M. of uh, Elect Electrotark, and uh, I'm here to review some uh, proto boards. Uh, they're definitely the um, electronic enthusiast friend when it comes to uh, quickly developing a, um, a hard form of your product, uh, you know, for prototyping and such. I, I'm not going to say that I have gone through every type of board imaginable, but I'm going to show you a few of the ones that I use, and uh, it's just a general idea of my experience with them. Uh, first off, here's my latest favorite. These are uh, proto boards from PCB Iran, and uh, or Iran PCB, I forget which, but uh, they're nice. They have uh, a nice ground plane on the outside and strips for you know other you know say plus 12 and then you could have your plus 5 and ground plus 5 ground plus 5 right makes for nice simple work and I, I have larger versions of these but uh, these are nice for uh, general prototyping next one is these are from Measure Explorer these, these, uh, these guy, this guy or these guys has uh, have a um, an eBay store and he sells a wide variety of boards and I've bought quite a few of them and uh, these are the ones I probably have the most problem with uh, these the connections go uh, left and right up and down and it's uh, pad per hole or hole per pad but there's connections so you have to scribe them out with a scribe but this is double sided so if you make one mistake, let's say putting an IC socket over, over top, there's no way to access it anymore unless you desolder the part or, you know, manage to drill it out or something like that. So these ones are probably probably my least favorite out of the bunch. But uh, some people swear by them. I don't know. Here's another Measure Explorer one. Uh, it might be hard to see on the camera, but there are three holes per pad um, and uh, the nice thing about these is that uh, it accommodates 22 gauge and then 24 gauge two holes of 24 so it has three holes per pad one large one two small ones and it makes it uh, nice for wiring smaller stuff and putting a circuit together things like that it's uh, pretty nice Measure Explorer also sells these little guys. Uh, these one, this one is uh, three holes per pad. Unlike the other one, it's double sided. And uh, the nice thing about it is through hole plated, so the pads are a lot stronger than that of a single sided one. Because you know, if you desolder something or shove something through with the solder, it doesn't just lift the pad up. These ones are small, but you can't see it on camera. But it's um, three pads per strip, three pads per strip, so putting in a little IC on there can be a little bit difficult, but uh, uh, they're not bad. <clears throat> These ones are kind of a bitch. The way they're supposed to be used is uh, you put the ICs on it, and then you solder in between all of the pads to make a path. Uh, I mean, it's a good idea, but uh, you use a lot of fucking solder, and uh, you wind up, uh, you know, if if you make a bad connection or something, well, you got to try to get rid of all that gloop. I mean, it's kind of a, a, a hassle, um, rather than just removing a wire or scribing it out. Uh, they're they're not bad. I ha I have used them before, but uh, they're not my first choice. Here's another Measure Explorer one with the bilateral connections. Uh, this one is a little better, single sided, no through hole plating, but uh, still, it's a little easier to work with. Here's one from PCB Iran. Uh, this is hole per pad. Um, it, uh, you know, obviously has like a ground plane along the outside. This is scored here, so this actually breaks into three boards. You know, so. Um, that's kind of it's kind of handy for little stuff. <laughs> Here's the big long one from uh, Measure Explorer. <laughs> and here's a custom. Here's a special one. It's a SIP 
Oh, it has pins along the side. I don't know what I'll ever use it for, but um, I think it'd be kind of handy if you have to uh, put something a little more complicated on on the, uh, with a small amount of space. And here's one that's probably a lot of people use smart boards. Uh, I only have this kind. Um, there are a wide variety of kinds that smart board sells. The uh, problem with this is not so much that it's no good. I mean, it's probably just too good because uh, there's so many features that it's it's hard to differentiate where you are on the board when you're soldering or placing components. Uh, there are lines that go through, like past the pins, or there's a ground plane around it, all kinds of stuff. I believe it's a four-layer board. Also, you know, like they try to help you by differentiating the holes along, use if you can see that vertical strip or that horizontal strip on the camera there, where the holes are. And of course you have your old standby strip board. This is by far the best board I've come across. I mean, it's you can customize it with a scribe, you know, and just use your, use your scribe to scratch out the copper. And, uh, you know, it's uh, straightforward. You can plan it out on a piece of paper. Uh, use the line, like turn a notebook uh, horizontally and uh, use the vertical lines to show the vertical lines here and then draw out your components and your scribe lines and it works perfect. And I guess for the final one, I mean this isn't really a proto board, it's just copper clad board. I use this sometimes, I'll use a drill for really big stuff that I'm hooking up and I'll kind of scribe out an outline of a of a trace, like if it requires a lot of current, um, you know, you can you usually use this for uh, for you know custom PCB work and stuff like that. But uh, it comes in handy. It comes in handy sometimes. Or you can even use them as you know cut little chunks out and use them as uh, as uh, conductive pads and stuff like that. In that sense, it's uh, pretty handy. Well, anyways, that concludes, I believe all of, well, most of the different kinds of boards that I have, and, uh, yeah, let's see here, oh, and here's an example of one of the larger ones from PCBRN, I'll try to get rid of the glare from the plastic, it's wrapped in, yeah, there we go, nothing spectacular, you have, you have, um, you know, a large ground plane on the outside, and, well, five potential, po you know, uh, pluses, you know, so, use them as data lines or whatever. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and have